Our 46th Heroes of Progress are Mary Estelle and Mary Wollstonecraft, two of the earliest feminist philosophers. Mary Estelle was born in 1666 to an upper-middle-class English family. After her parents died, Estelle was left without a dowry, meaning her marriage prospects were slim. Instead, she moved to Chelsea, a suburb of London, where she met a circle of literary and influential women. With their help, Estelle published two groundbreaking books, A Serious Proposal to the Ladies and Some Reflections Upon Marriage. In them, she used Rene Descartes' distinction between body and mind to argue that men and women have an equal ability to reason irrespective of their physical differences. As such, she insisted that women deserve the same educational opportunities as men. Estelle died in Chelsea in 1731, but her work was later picked up by Mary Wollstonecraft, who was born in London in 1759. Wollstonecraft's father was very abusive, and she eventually left home to work various jobs across England and Ireland. However, she soon became frustrated with the limited professions open to women and embarked on a career as an author. In 1792, she published her best-known book, A Vindication of the Rights of Woman, which expanded on Estelle's work, arguing that women's empowerment required both equal opportunity and equal suffrage. Wollstonecraft also emphasized the importance of liberty, writing that if women were not allowed to breathe the sharp, invigorating air of freedom, they must ever languish like exotics. Estelle's and Wollstonecraft's writings did not spark immediate reforms, with women's suffrage first achieved in New Zealand in 1893. However, without the two English women, it is unlikely that women's rights would be as extensive as they are today. For that reason, Mary Estelle and Mary Wollstonecraft are rightfully our 46th Heroes of Progress.